How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffled Rallet and welcome back to another video. Today guys we're doing another ROM hack or fan game review for you ladies and gentlemen. And today we're going to be playing Pokemon Obsidian. Now I've got to say, this game I found through RelicCastle.com. It's a website uh, forum for a lot of people who like to do uh, Pokemon fan games, uh, fan creations and that sort of stuff. It's a really cool forum and website. You guys should definitely check it out. But I found it on their website um, after they, you know, they recommended me like, yo, check out some of our creations. They really make some great stuff, and I've been on there before. I mean, Rose Gold was created for a challenge on the um, on the Relic Castle, you know, forum. So that's why I decided, you know, what, let's just go onto the website and check out more of their stuff because there are some really great, and I truly mean really great, to, like creators on there, fangame creators. And this game caught my attention. Now it is only a demo. I do not know how many gyms. I think it's only two gyms. I'm not sure though. But as far as I know, this game is pretty badass, I've got to say. It looks pretty nice. I want to give it a try, guys. As you know, I love fan games, and trying these out is kind of my passion at this point. Um, it's where this channel is kind of be growing on. So I want to thank you all for coming by, lads. Now, if you want to play this game, there's going to be a link down in the description to Relic Castle. Go download this game. It's only for PC. Uh, it's not for your phone, uh, your iPad, your Android, any of those things. It's only for PC. And all you need to do is download the game from the link I linked to you guys. Just scroll a bit down on the post. There's going to be a Google dot something link. Uh, go download that and just put it on your desktop, uh, open up the zip file, and then run the game uh, The game file, which is called a Game. It's literally just a little black Pokemon ball, and it says Game. So that's how you start it. Either way, welcome to the fan-made game Pokemon Obsidian version. This game is no way supported or endorsed by Nintendo. Pokemon has registered trademark under the regal property of Nintendo and Game Freak. Of course, this is just basic stuff. Let's see. In this game, you will play as a boy. Sorry, it's not plot-based. So Wait, it, sorry, it's plot-based, so no female choice. Please go ahead and choose your name. So this is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. So we're going to call ourselves... Wait, let, ooh, wait. Oh, oh, okay. It's not one of those typing ones. Usually you get to type it here, but uh, I guess I guess we're going to do that here. Here we go. Let's see. Ruffled. Perfect. Just, just enough space for my full name. There you go. Uh, Ruffled. Yes, we are. Thank you for... Wait, thank you. Before you start, here's some options. Uh, let's see. What's the plot? Let's see. You'll be traveling the Avoran region with your father and family friend, Phil. You have won the yearly raffle to gain access to the four tower ruins around Avoran. You will train Pokemon and challenge the local gym wait, gyms along the way. Play the game... Wait, to see the story unfold. Okay. You know what? Controls. Let's see. C to confirm accept. X for menu. Z to run. Uh, arrow keys and then register items. Okay, it's pretty pretty straightforward. Start the adventure. Good luck and have fun. Enjoy Pokemon Obsidian. Thank you. Now, this is actually made by one of the admins on Pokemon uh, Rel on Relic Castle. Sorry. sorry. Uh, it's one made by one of them, so it's pretty interesting, i got to say. Oh, look, dear. Your father is going to be, be on the news. Watch. Let's see. Oh, this is pretty cool. Yay. And we're back. In recent years, there was quite a disturbance last night in Saffron City. Witnesses say that they heard a lot of commotion ab wait, at about 2 a.m. this morning, and when they investigated, they found some citizens bound and gagged. Further investigation reveals that they were ex-members of Team Rocket. One of the wait, of the men stated in a black suit and helmet attack. Wait, stated the a black man. Wait, it's one of the members stated that a man in black suit attacked him. The student man, also wearing a cape, was able to <laughs> subdue all four of the Rocket members and questioned them about their old leader, Giovanni. Further investigations are being held. If you have any clues or news about this capped cape man, please call us or the police. You know the news? Our yearly laugh raffle winner, winner will be leaving today for their journey to the Fort Towers of Everon. As we all know, the Pokemon League has set a law that you can only study and go inside of the Fort Towers around Everon if you have permission. To keep the site preserved and not so crowded, they have set up a raffle system. This year's winner is Maxwell from Everon. His friend Phil and Maxwell's son, Ruffled, will be studying and researching these two towers for the next few weeks under their researchers' visa day one. Okay. That's pretty cool. So, Tamarack. Good luck, guys. Let's hope you find more than previous researches. As long as we're talking about the ruins, Team Galactic's leader Cyrus is still missing. He was confronted by Sinnoh's champion Cynthia and two kids, Lucas and Dawn, <laughs> on the top of Spear Pillar. It was reported that, uh, wait, wait, it's reported some Pokemon showed up and took him away into the shadows. Still not sure what me what that means. Further investigation is needed. Okay. He has been missing for about a month now. Any he deals, details that could find him, help find him, are very appreciated. Isn't that exciting? I believe your father is out on the mountainside waiting for you. You should really get going. 
Okay, the, the sprite is amazing. It's a bit of a bigger, fatter sprite uh, than you usually assume, and I like that. Also, I just like the general, like, style of the game. It looks pretty nice, if I may say so myself. It looks pretty darn nice, and I'm, I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it so far, lads, so I'm gonna just enjoy this. Let's see. So, we're gonna go around here, and let's just check out what's what's actually in this area. Now, we do not have running shoes yet, which is kind of sad. Whoa, that is cool. Okay, I accidentally pressed X there. So, our menu looks pretty nice. Uh, let's just save for the hell of it. Let's see. There you go. So let's see, items, um, yeah, I guess more things will be added here over time. We hold Z to actually run, but we don't have Z yet, so we should be fine. Here we go. It's about time you woke up. Okay, let's see. Oh, you're finally here. We have been waiting for you, Ruffled. Expected you to be ready sooner, seeing as how you are getting a Pokemon today. Now, we're really lucky to be exploring these ruins in Everan. We've been entering the drawing, wait, drawing every year for the past decade. Professor Tamarack has agreed to give us a Pokemon to aid us on the journey too, which is a very nice of him. So, let's get going. I want to try and learn as much as, as I can on this journey. So, I gotta say, the story so far, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's a very different... Very different approach, actually. Very different approach from other games. Make sure you take this mountainside path to Maple Branch Town until you get a Pokemon. You can't go into tall grass. Okay. That's cool, man. That's, pre that's pretty cool. I, I like that. I like that a lot, man. Jeez. Um, hmm. So, Route 1A. Okay, we can't go into tall grass. I assume we're going to follow this mountain path here, which is really cool. I gotta say, so far, the style, the graphics... Pretty top-notch, actually, pretty top-notch, I gotta say. Uh, I think it's an Atomic Reactor who made this game. I gotta say, top-notch quality on the on the art. Except there's... That's a bit awkward right there. See, the music just popped in out of nowhere. I feel like the music should have faded in a bit, like, earlier. But, uh, whatever. We'll take we'll take what we get, okay? Yeah, we'll take what we get. We'll just go with... What, we'll go with the flow, lads. We'll go with the flow. Here we go. Let's see. So, we can just, I assume, jump down here. Perfect. Here we go. Hey there, Ruffled. Your father is already at Tamarack's house. I figured I would show you around before we go to the professor, so follow me, Ruffled. Okay, I will follow you, sir. Mr. Phil. This building right here is known as the Pokemon Trainer Center. It can also be called Pokemon Center for short. They will heal your Pokemon for free, and let's say... Wait, let's, wait. Let you stay as long as you want. They also have a small shop located in each Pokemon Center. These shops sell all your Pokemon training... Wait, training shoes. Well, that's all I really need. Wait, wait, they sell training shoes there? What, wait, what, 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 what? They say training shoes or trainer needs. I don't really know. I missed that. Woo! Did I miss that? Okay, the last shipment has it coming in. Of course. Of course. And there's gonna be a fat man over there just blocking my path. Thank you, game. Thank you for blocking me off. Uh, let's see. So, I think we need to go to the professor's house. We can't go into the wild without a Pokemon. Right, right, right. That makes sense. So, so far, the style of the game is very splendid. Uh, I'm gonna see right now. I like that there's, there's a path here you can kind of walk on. But I'm liking this so far. I'm liking this so far. It's pretty interesting. Now, this is not... Okay, so this door is locked. I actually like when the doors are locked because it makes sense. I mean, who would actually leave the door unlocked like that? Like, an actual human wouldn't really... Normal person wouldn't really do that casually like that, you know? Wait, wait, where do we go then? Wait, if we can't go up there, we can't go... Hmm. Oh, here we go. This has got to be it. This has got to be it. This has got to be it. There we go. We found it, lads. We found it. So, here we go. Let's see. About time you showed up. Let's see. Uh, Tamarack. Well, well, Ruffles. I was beginning to worry that a wild mighty Anna had f gotten a hold of you or something. Well, I'm going to have your father Phil look over some of my research before you guys head out. Mm, I'm going to have you come with me to gather up the Pokemon outside. So, yeah, come meet me in the grove on the other side of the mountain pass. In the grove on the other side. Wait, what? Can I exit there as well? Hmm. Can I exit? Wait, wait, wait. R really? Huh. Okay, wait. I can I pick this up? A potion. This is pretty cool. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Pretty interesting. Interesting concept, if I may say so myself. Now my eyes do really hurt right now because I've been up really late and I'm kind of sick, so my eyes really hurt when looking on the screen. But I gotta say, I'm liking the style of the game. The art style is different. It's it's way different from what I'm used to. So I like that. Um. And I assume we're going to go, go around and choose a Pokemon. Let's see, what is the... Wait, oh wait, this, doesn't this game... This game has Fakemons. This game this game has Fakemons, actually. I remember now. This game has Fakemons, so... Oh, shit, I was looking up there. So, because I thought my camera was still on that side. Uh, but this game does have Fakemons, which is really nice. Uh, I remember I looked... I saw that on their forum post. So, that's pretty cool. Now, I think the... All the all the Pokemon actually would look pretty cool. So, I don't know. I mean, you know what? Let's just go with the Firestarter. Wait, okay, so what's this? Let's see. Can we choose this thing? No, I guess not. I guess I guess we can't. 
Okay, this thing is pretty weird. Uh, pretty trippy. <laughs> but, uh, let's see this one. Okay, so they all look pretty cool. This is a tadpole, I assume. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we need, what do we need to do? I am kind of confused on that part. Everybody decide which one you would take. Uh, I will take the fire starter, because it looks pretty cool. Cargo, the fire Pokemon. Char Chargo or Cargo? I thought it was a Chargo, actually, yeah. Your father and Phil are both have received their Pokemon. Now it is your turn, Ruffled. Present, I present to you your very first Pokemon. Uh, Chargo, okay. Chargo, and nickname it, uh... I'm gonna nickname Chargo Char. Because uh, it makes sense. <laughs> there you go, Z-key, actually. We can just press that. There you go, boom. I expect you to treat this Pokemon with the highest respect and care. Uh, you guys, okay, guys, enjoy your journey and bring me loads of artif artifacts and fossils. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, the mute. Whoa, see there, the music. It went quiet, okay? It went quiet, and then it just went loud again, which is really weird. It's really weird that it does that, so I've got to complain about that a little bit. Music is a bit off, but overall, I like the Fakemon. They're pretty nice, except the grass star looked a bit trippy to me. But then again, I, you know, I shouldn't really be saying anything, because I don't really, I'm not good at making any of that, so, any of that stuff, sorry. <laughs> so I shouldn't be complaining, but i got to say, the fire starter looks hella nice, and I like the whole, like, uh, the tadpole design. Okay, we're gonna test out our Pokemon each other. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Okay, bro, it's gonna be good. Archaeologist Maxwell, Maxwell would like to battle. Okay, he cho he chose the uh, the grass tar. Let's see. Whoa, 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 let's go back a little second. Whoa, what the hell? This is pretty cool. I've never seen this sort of menu before. This is pretty nice. Let's go for Ember. We got Ember already from the start. It's pretty nice. Oh, I wish we had a speed up button. I wish we had a speed up button, man. I really wish we had one. There we go. Okay, we didn't kill him straight over. It was pretty effective, I'd say. There you go. Now, I think you can change, like, the layout a bit, uh, which would be nice, because I'm not a big fan of uh, the, the color gray, so I'd like to you know, switch that around a bit. But it's not something I should really complain about, because overall, this is a cool-ass game. It looks pretty darn dank, so I like it. There we go. Level 6, and yeah, Professor, you a very good battle. Yes, quite, sir. Quite. Yes. Well, that was fun. I sure am glad you've been traveling with us now. We're going to head up to the Route 2A, and you should run home and let Mom know you love her. I'm sure it wouldn't hurt to chain a little bit on Route 1A for a while either. Okay, so we gotta go back, so I assume we can go in and heal ourselves now in the Pokemon Center. I, I will hope we can. Okay, we can't. The fat man's still here. Oh, yes, right! This is something- this is a feature in this game. That thing is so cool. You're- it might sound really bad, I'm sorry if, if, if I may say so myself. It might sound really bad, but actually what happens in this game is some there's a small percentage, about a 2 or 3% chance, that your Pokemon will actually die if it faints. It will actually die, fully die, it's dead. It, it doesn't, you know, you can't just revive it. You need to pay 50,000 Poke Dollars to get it revived. So that's a really cool feature. It really makes you, you know, think before you act. It makes you, you know, take care of your Pokemon. So that's something I really do like. Um, may sound weird, but I like that. I, I do like that a lot. See, see the music volume here in here is lower than the one outside, which is mm, really weird. Really weird, really weird. Uh, but not the end of the world. We'll be fine. Now, how do I head home? I oh right, I have to go this way. Don't don't I? Yep, we have to go down here, and we'll get home. Okay, so this will be fine. I I've got to say, so far, I'm liking it. Now I think it's only two gym badges so far in the game. And not much else other than that, so I don't know what to say about that. Uh, you know, it's still a new game, it's still being developed, so it's, co of course, understandable. I really do hope, though, that they do finish this game, because it's pretty cool, man. I do like it. So there we go. Now, this game mixes in a lot of different generations of Pokemon, uh, with Fakemon as well, so that's pretty nice. You know, always nice to have real Pokemon alongside Fakemon. always a, a, just a high-tier thing, in my opinion, is having Fakemon alongside them. Uh, so that's always nice to see. I do like Fakemon a lot, and not a lot of people hate Fakemon, but I personally love them, so, you know, that's just my biased opinion there. If you don't agree with it, then, oh, of course, that's your own choice, and your own, you know, opinion. That's totally fine. But then again, I personally do love that, so I shouldn't really be saying much. Either way, we are in Hazel Seed Town now. We're back home. Let's go inside, tell our mommy that we're leaving. So, yeah, we should be good. We should be good once we get home. Let's see, our mommy's down here. Let's see, talk to her. Here we go. Come on. It's just like your father forgot about talking to me. Well, I've got some items together for you to aid you on your journey. Town map, okay. Thank you. Potion, thank you. Well, who, what mother gives you potions, man? Antidote, thank you, mommy. You're a great mother, you know that? All right, Ruffle, be safe and come back at any time. You're always welcome in your uh, rest in your room for a while. Sounds good, mommy. I appreciate that. 
Okay, guys, I think that is just about all I had to say for this, this so far. Now, I think I'm going to play through this game more and make a few more videos on it. Um, so do expect more videos on it, but this is going to be my first initial Im first impression on it. And so far, my first impression is going to be this. It is pretty cool, man. It is pretty darn cool. I really can't wait until we get more into it. So if you want to check out this game, there's going to be a link down in the description, guys, to Relic Castle, where this game was featured. Um, I'm definitely going to say this. It's pretty darn cool. Um, I'm liking it so far. The art style is definitely one of my favorite things. You guys, as you guys know, I'm a sucker for really, really colorful, colorful art styles and different kind of sprite arts that are kind of unique. And I'm a sucker for Fakemon, so that is a plus for me. Uh, especially good-looking Fakemons, because there are a lot of Fakemons sometimes people make that aren't just up up to par. But these ones are pretty darn good, except the grass one. The grass one is a bit trippy to me, but other than that, the other ones are perfect. I've also seen screenshots of other Fakemon in the game that look just incredible man so so far i'd say this this game is worth your time do go check it out it's not completed so if you're looking for a completed game this is not it if you want to see a completed game then go play something like light platinum or just another fan game like uranium or something uh if you want to play a completed game but if you're looking for something you want to try out something new a different story a really different approach to a story then this is probably the game for you so do go check out pokemon obsidian in the link down in the description below guys I'm gonna say, so far, I'm liking it. The art style is my favorite part, but one thing I have an issue with, and that is the music. It just feels like the, the music balance in between some areas is way too messed up. Sometimes you go and it's like, oh, you know, the music is slow, low, 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 and then all of a sudden, boom, the music is super loud. It's just, that's the one thing I'd say it needs to get fixed. Other than that, everything else is just perfect. I love the sprites as well. They're just, just subliminal, man. I love them. And the grass, look at that grass. It's just, oh, it's splendid, man. I love it. But that's about it for I had to say for this guy game this time game. <laughs> that's all I had to say for this time, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. And Ninja Pikachu, thanks so much, Subba dude. Uh, but I thank you all for watching this video, guys. Do drop a like down below. Let's aim for 200 likes on this video. It really would be appreciated. And do check out the game in the link in the description down below. And subscribe for future videos and first impressions, reviews, and other such things on this channel. My name is Rodolfo Rowlett, and I will catch you all the next time. Bye-bye.